say goodnight. <laughs> it is 7.15, we just got home from dinner. It's 7.20 now. And Sebastian's just gonna watch a show before bed. His bedtime is 7.45, which is gonna be a little tricky tomorrow because Danny and I have middle school open house until 8.15 and then it's like a 15 minute walk home. So. A little bit late bedtime. I'll have him in his jammies before we leave and Jack's will babysit. But yeah, today was a volunteer day. And Sebastian walked with me. <laughs> he always changes his mind and walks with me. He just keeps whining that he wants to ride his bike. And I mean, if he's riding his bike and I'm walking, we're not gonna be together. He's gonna be way ahead of me. He has an expensive bike. <clears throat> and we don't have a bike lock, so there's nowhere to put it. <laughs> yeah, he walked with me. <clears throat> and volunteering was a lot busier, lots of people late, including after there's like a specialty teacher who helps out. In the beginning, I would say the first 30 minutes or so after the bell, maybe a little bit less. She knows so many names, which is amazing. But <clears throat> it was all hands on deck, like lots of people. I was handling some and she was handling some. And then after she had to go, there continued to be a few latecomers when I was starting to go through all the attendance folders and do my jobs through that. Just mostly just filling out forms. <clears throat> if there's a note saying, so-and-so needs to ride the bus, so-and-so is getting picked up. Just a change of dismissal. That's an important job that I have to do. <clears throat> Not much else, it's just kind of crazy. <laughs> and they did say that they might have other tasks for me in the coming weeks. It's just they're still in the back-to-school mode, still registering kids and having kids come back from long travels and stuff. So. I definitely felt more useful, so that was good. They do not have anybody to volunteer at the lunch shift Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday yet. They had me yesterday, and they said they had somebody today. So there's a solid chance I'll be doing Friday. I did not say I was available Wednesday or Thursday, because <clears throat> I do need to take care of the rest of life. So tomorrow I'm going to need to run to Trader Joe's, which is normally Danny's job, but he does not have time unless he like ran out there and came home and we immediately made dinner. We have to make an early dinner and I think we're going to do Trader Joe's ravioli. So I'll run out probably after I drop Jax to school. It's... Did I go in that direction? Yeah, I think I go in that direction anyway. So yeah, today after I got home, had a little breakfast, just a donut, <clears throat> and did my weekly trying to follow along with his Spanish class <laughs> based on the slides that he posts. Obviously, I just have to make up my own lessons unless it outright says things. <clears throat> I really enjoyed one slide where it link to a random number generator set to 1 to 20 because I was practicing those numbers and I was just clicking the button every second or two like trying to get, get to the point where I could go really fast. 14 and 15 were the numbers that kept tripping me up and 14 is my favorite number. So, Torse and Quince but I've got them down. It's just I want to be even faster and it was really fun to draw myself. I was terrible at numbers in French too. I had to have a tutor. But yeah, even then I loved languages and I was so frustrated that I'm not good at them. But I got those numbers down. I took a lot of other notes of other things, weather, months, days of the week. Just being able to say basic emotions and feelings. So I'll go over those in a couple days, I think. 
to get them more in my head, but I want to be able to help him. He didn't need it. He got an A on his first test. A minus, but I mean, it's, it's like 25 questions. So you get two things wrong. He already had an A minus. But he did good. So after that, <clears throat> I did lunch. And I was doing rough. My period has been so heavy. This is the second day it's been really being heavy, crampy. I feel anemic and exhausted. And I was just a message to Danny. I was like, I'm sorry if the dog barks. I'm taking some Tylenol and I'm gonna lay down for a little while. And I set my alarm for before school bus time. Yeah, and just rested for an hour. I woke up to the normal alert, which was five minutes before my alarm. So it's just like a little thing. <clears throat> my little like, 10 minute ish warning that the bus is almost bus time that like startled me <laughs> like, but I stayed laying down to my alarm I had set and then headed out we caught Sebastian he again did really well with waiting till 3.30 his friend again stopped by at 3.20 and I let him go out I have like hiccups that are desperately trying to start and I don't want them because then it takes forever to get rid of them. I was keep the stars but they're stabbing me. Let's see. And then <clears throat> he went out to play. It was like pretty much four o'clock pretty soon and Dan came up and was going through some safety gear he bought for his longboarding and I did a little bit more of the Kirby hat I'm knitting which is so annoying because it's so many colors and it's so frustrating to have that many yarns going on at once but I just desperately want to get through it. It's so frustrating as well. <clears throat> and then Danny wanted to eat out Sebastian chose burgers so we went to a place that the boys like a lot. Just got back. So I am going to get my jammies on and just slowly start getting things ready for bed. You can see I'm tired. I just made tea. That smells like it's about ready. So I'm gonna drink that. I'll go back down and get Sebastian at his bedtime. I don't have time for a bath. And I think I would wanna wait another day anyway. Jumbo size tampons and baths. Not fun. It's just not fun. I feel like I suck up half the bath. Sorry. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go. Yeah. And get changed. Because I need good rest. I had bad insomnia yet last night, and I think it's my fault for drinking <clears throat> a nice coffee midday. So <laughs> that was me. It's just that their coffees are all yucky, except for the cold brew and the dark roast, and neither of those are decaf. All right, good night. <laughs> Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands. <laughs>